So good morning, November 3rd, 2016. This is CISG 1.4, Section 1, Web Technology of the Line. Today is day number 22 in week number 11. So let's get started. First of all, welcome back to today's class, day number 22. I hope you all are ready for this second last day for the public based learning classroom. You still have today and next Monday as the day for you to do in-class sharing. So all together, although we meet the very first Monday, uh, to begin with, but I'll give you back that Monday, next week, okay? And next Monday on November 7th will be the deadline for you to submit all the artifacts for learning contract number three. So be sure your team works hard enough to get all the artifacts done and make sure you grab the chance of next Monday's in class sharing all together. You should have five times in class sharing per student if your group manage well. Why? Because you have four times in class sharing all classes and in each class you have both the two minute team representative briefing as well as the five minutes team briefing or better say sharing. And so, for four persons in a team with four specific classes, you should have done for each of your team member five in-class sharing, just enough to get your 20 semester points. Okay? Now, if you did not do it, or you, if you were absent from that class, it's your own responsibility, not the team member's responsibility. Okay? So, uh, may I just make sure you understand another very important announcement, and that is the announcement on the midterm. Okay? We are supposed to have midterm exam this week. Okay? If you look at the calendar, we are supposed to have midterm exam this week. Okay? If you look at the calendar of this semester, but because we delay one week for learning contract number two, and we delay one week for learning contract number three, we could not have midterm this week. And the question is, I want to ask you, as I already proposed, do you want to have midterm? Okay? If you want to say no, we do not want to have midterm, there's one option, but we need to take good care of the 15 points that are supposed to be in the midterm. Okay? If you do the midterm, you're going to get 15 semester points early enough to let you know how many points you could earn. All right? If you do not want a midterm, there is an alternative that is I mentioned last week. We are going to give you this important chance after learning contract number three. Each student is going to be given 10 minutes at most doing in-class sharing of an important topic that is called what have I learned in the semester. Okay? This is important because it's part of the um, exercise is intended. But before you can do this 10 minutes in class sharing on the topic, what have I learned in the semester? You must have written this important block called what have I learned in the semester. Okay? This is called a block of the semester. So if you do not want to have the midterm exam, I would say that you have to make sure you know how to grab the 15 points that's originally allocated to the midterm exam in the context of your in-class sharing on a topic. What have I learned in the semester? You have at most 10 minutes. And you must do this in-class sharing with a PowerPoint to represent what you want to share. And your PowerPoint cannot include more than 15 slides, okay? Cannot include more than 15 slides. And when I'm going to schedule this 10 minutes individual sharing slot, it will be immediately from next week, okay? Until the end of the semester, all right? The end of the semester is on November the 30th. I believe we're going to have one to two class called a makeup class because of the holidays on Monday. So you can assume that we can have the end of the semester scheduled 
until one or two classes after the lecture period. So if you choose not to have the midterm exam, my recommendation is that you must do the in-class sharing of that 10 minutes on that topic called what have I learned in the semester. Okay? My recommendation is for you to express yourself, to share with the whole class what you have learned in the semester is to look back on how many journals you have done in the first 10 weeks of the semester, look back on what you did in the first learning contract, what you did in the second learning contract, and what you are going to complete in this first learning contract. Okay? And make sure you pinpoint your personal learning in the semester. Now remember, you must use all the 10 minutes given to you, okay? 10 minutes is 10 minutes, okay? No more, no less. In your income sharing. That way, you can register yourself for the 15 semester score that is supposed to be allocated to the midterm exam. Now, I still need to ask each one of you using a very simple survey, okay? starting from today and I'm going to announce the results next Monday to see if you want to have the midterm or you do not want to have the midterm. Okay? This is the decisions on you. If you do not want to have the midterm, do 10 minutes in class sharings on what have I learned in the semester is important. And that is based on your block the semester called what have I learned based on the collections of work you did? All right. So I think I've used up my five minutes. You know my message, and I'm going to create that quick survey uh, before the end of today, so that you can indicate your personal choice. Okay. We will go ahead with the midterm exam if less than half of the class say you want not to have a return, okay? That means at least 50% of the class is to say yes, we do not want to have a return, then I will go ahead with that, all right? If you say you want to have a return, we're going to schedule the return sometime next week, okay? All right, now what are we going to do in the midterm? I need to tell you, I get the deal, I told one of you, uh, one of the students last week, the midterm is very simple. In a class of 75 minutes, you need to come together with your learning partner. You need to select a topic, which I'm going to give it to you based on the 10 reading lists. You're going to come up with a journal. You're going to share the journal with your learning partner. You need to engage your learning partner in online discussions for about 20 minutes. Okay, and then you write a blog based on the topic you choose. So you, you do a journal in 20 minutes, you do discussions with your learning partner in 20 minutes, and you reserve 35 minutes to write the blog. That is what the big term is all about. Okay? That is the practice. Very much the same as your learning contract 1, learning contract 2, learning contract 3. Alternatively, if you do not want a big term, then you can say, I do not want a big term in the survey. Instead, those who indicate you do not want to be term will be given a chance to do an in-class sharing of 10 minutes, okay, starting next week on a specific topic called what have I learned in the semester. And with that, the 15 semester points that is supposed to be allocated to your midterm will be transferred to your in-class sharings of 10 minutes on that topic, what have I learned in the semester, okay? And of course, when you do the in-class sharing of so that 10 minutes, you must get your PowerPoint ready at most of this line, and you must have written your block of the semester, okay? So, I think that is pretty much what I wanted to say. You can ask me questions after that. Now, may I invite the individual team to send a representative here, two minutes, first sections, to brief us on what your team has accomplished or what your team is up to today. You have one more class beside today, that is next Monday, to do this team class sharing. Okay?
see. Yes, it's being recorded. I just got it fixed. Okay. All right. So, team number one. Oh, thank you, Coco. Yes, you're ready. Thank you. Um, good morning, everyone. I'm I'm Coco from Team One. And as we have said last lesson, we will complete the three questions in Wednesday. So yesterday we had sent our questions to our team leader Karen. Then. We hope the next step is Karen will do the PPT and help us to check our answer. And then we can look the PPT after Karen created. And At the time, uh, we need to complete our own journal. Yes, then, um, we hope that we can finish all our report on Friday. Finish. Thank you. Thank you, Coco. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, then, I've given you the cheat sheets here. These are items you need to produce next Monday for submissions in the learning journals, your team discussion forum details, your team proposal, your team collaborative report, this is very important, and the team collaborative report PPT, okay? So only five items, but it requires a lot of team efforts. Team number two, are you ready? Okay, we thank you, Erica. This is teamwork in actions, even though you might forget something. Hello, Andrew. You're team number three, right? Thank you. Um, this is where we keep this discussion topic in cyber crime. And uh, two pairs of our group through the internet to find the information 
uh, understand the uh, definition and part particular way. Uh, okay. Case risk, uh, respectively of the cyber crime. Um, understand uh, and how to combat cyber crime in the uh, investigation, registration, and so on. Mm -hmm. Our two pairs will ask questions about the information we search each other to expand relative knowledge and make a better understanding. Um, we, we share the video recording with friends and uh, meanwhile we record the uh, details we are discussing. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. So team number four, are you ready? Do we have any team number four today? Okay, thank you, Andrew. Um, is your team ready? Okay. Oh, wait, your team number four, right? Okay, let's, let's pass the time to this Vicky, right? Okay. Um, lastly, I have found, found some information about our topic and sent it to our leader to check it. And our group also made a PowerPoint. Um, we also uh, organized the information together and check it, uh, which we found together. Uh, we check it, is it true or not? And then we also do the collaboration wiki together. Thank you. Uh, Any more to add on what you're supposed to encompass today? Today uh, we will keep thinking uh, our third question. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for team number four. Now it's on to Coco. Thank you, thank you. Okay, now is that is Coco from Team Five. Do we have Team Six here? Yes. Thank you. Okay, the most important thing is the report, okay? Yeah. Do not forget the report. Okay. So, is your team ready? Thank you. Yes, thank you, Neil. Yes. That is team seven. Um, hello, I'm, hello, I'm Neil. I'm the leader of the team seven. And last week, we have finished two questions. And that, that were what is Wiki and how Wiki works. And there is something I have found that is uh, Wiki is connected with MeshUp and Tagging. So we will so we'll add one more question for our call check. And our PPT is not finished yet because we have we have to wait for the proposal essay. After after the proposal essay is finished, uh, then we will start to uh, do the PPT. 
And today we will we will finish uh, the last question, and we will try to make the conclusion of our contract. Yes. Thank you, thank you, Neil. So now may I invite you to engage yourself in teamwork. You have at least twenty minutes time in your table-based teamwork today and make sure you try to answer those important questions towards the end of your in-class teamwork. What have you accomplished inside the classroom today? And what are you going to accomplish in this coming weekend? Because you have to submit all this item next Monday, okay? I give you two days, that is next Monday and that is next Tuesday. But in Monday, because we have class, so you have the final time to do the eight class sharing to wrap up for each one of your team members five times of eight class sharing. And here you have five important items. And remember, the PPT is based on your final report. Okay? It's not just based on your proposal. The PPT is based on your final report, not just the proposal. In other words, you have all the 15 slides for you to express what the three important questions you want to explore with your team topic, okay? It's very important, okay? So, during this time, while you're doing the in-class work, I'm going to set up the quick survey to ask you, do you want to have the midterm exam, okay? All right?
Now you can stop doing this quick uh, survey, express your ideas, okay? Because we are supposed to have the midterm this week, but because of the delay in the contract number two and number three, we need to complete the midterm next week. Yet, I'm offering you this choice. Do you want to take this midterm exam? If you want to take this midterm exam, you say, no, I prefer to have the midterm exam. If you do not want to take the midterm exam, you say, yes, I prefer not to have the midterm exam, but the in class sharing. Okay? So it very much depends on the result of this poll. And then I'm going to arrange the time slot accordingly. Now remember, by doing that, the 15 semester score that is allocated to the midterm will be allocated to your in-class sharing of that 10 minutes, okay? something called a science sheet for your in-class sharing starting next Thursday, okay? Because next Monday is still the day for learning contract number three. So you have at least one week's time to get your in-class sharing for what I have learned in the semester already starting next Thursday. And this sharing will last until the end of the semester, up to uh, the last class before November the 30th. And operate with one or two more classes after November the 30th, of course, uh, because we need to have pickup classes, okay?
you look at what you need to do in many contract number three, the first item should not be a big problem for each one of you. It's just, you just have to select one topic from the reading list of week number eight, number nine, and number 10, and use that topic to write in the journal. And the second important item is the discussion forum on how the two pairs in your team negotiate with one another through the discussions in forum to come up with your team topic, which should also not be a big problem for many of you because you start up with many contract number two, and each team has to appear as two topics. And once you've done this, you can proceed to complete your team proposal, which is a topic, three specific questions, three to five working references, and then one simple paragraph. Everybody in your team submit the same, all right? And then you all come to write and collaborate a team report based on the format I introduced to you, not class. You can still find that same format here in the submission link. And then use the report you write to come up with the PowerPoint, okay, of the report. Remember, not more than 15 slides, okay? Yes? One question. Alternatively, if you do not want to do this kind of interim exam, 
A survey asked you to indicate your interest to do an in-class sharing on a topic on what I have learned in the semester, definitely up to after you finish the free learning contract. Okay? Okay, two minutes left, and then I'm going to give each team five minutes, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, actually, we do not have enough time for that. Okay, any team would like to go first for the five minutes, because we have four minutes past the clock. Look at the number of fives we need, up to 12.45. Any team who's ready to do your five minutes in class sharing for the whole team members? Alice, is your team ready? Not yet? So, Darren, Aris, is your team ready? Almost? Okay, Hopen, is your team ready? Within the five minutes in class sharing? The call is ticking, okay? expect in your team report um, it's not more than 15 A4 pages it's not more than 
but sometimes it very much depends on the forms you use. If you use pen point forms or if you use drop point forms, the number of works will be larger than. So my my interpretation is if you the total length of your report do not go beyond 20 pages is acceptable. Okay? Do not go beyond 20 pages is acceptable. Don't make it too long by do copy and paste. You must include in your report something that has been processed around your team member. Do not just copy and paste. That is very important. Okay? Copy and paste could be easily visible. Your job is to make sure you know how to use the material you discover to answer the question you render in a way that you understand how to use it. Normally, a lot of students will just find a lot of information and just copy and paste and use it as their report. That is not the kind of report you need to write. Okay? That's why we need to have discussion sections in your report to make sure that you filter out the irrelevance. It's an important exercise. Okay? coming up um, by tomorrow to remind you on the report form and the specific things you have to include, okay? So it's not going to be too difficult. Indeed, I introduced the form to your last class. Now, I could see that only one, two, three, four, five teams could make the five minutes sharing today. Any other team would like to go because we have to use up two five minutes without any team sharing today, all right? So it's very important. If you do not want to lose the chance, you need to make sure you come up here to answer the question, what you have to come first today, all right? Thank you. It's a very um, job of pizza. You need to manage your work. Thank you. Thank you, Tiffany. We found that using internet can help us to develop our friend. Some experts refer we post that using internet will weigh intelligences and it can develop hand eye coordination. Thank you, Coco. And the internet has many advantages and it is really make our life more convenient. Uh, for example, when we lose, we can use the map by net, and when we are very boring, we can listen to music or watch TV. Okay. Thank you, Naomi. Through our learning process, we understand the network giving us the convenience and the benefits it brings to us, and we will continue our work tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Teresa. Okay, uh, at least you got your teams expressed using this five minutes, actually less than five minutes. Any other team who would like to go forward? Okay, thank you. Uh, Karen's team, the ladies, peace. Yes, thank you, Teresa, for handing the microphone.
PowerPoint and also the report. So let's Kevin kind of talk about the PowerPoint. Um, as uh, Selena and Coco have already finished the uh, report and they sent it to me, so I'm going to um, finish the PowerPoint uh, before Saturday. Thank you. Allow me to raise any other team who would like to go ahead. We still have two more teams. Okay. Would you please pass the microphone to them? Okay. Adrian, you just go ahead. Your team just go ahead. Adrian, it's Will. Um, why not use Web 2.0 tools? Uh, one of the problems is their, na their casual nature may blur the line between business and personal use. And to that problem, I suggest we set up different system of tools to deal with different uses. The other problem, the other one problem is the lack of a, a lot of connectivity driven work for lot depending on it. So we need to build more connectivity to solve this problem. <coughs> there is a problem about information is more difficult to monitor and secure. And, and in order to solve this problem. We can develop a relevant laws and regulations. Regulations. Thank you. So after that, uh, we will uh, do more research about the cyber crimes because uh, we think that the cyber crime uh, there is a strong relationship between the web two and cyber crime. So we will do more uh, uh, research about that topic. Thank you. Okay, we thank you for your team sharing. Uh, one more team, okay. Uh, yes, pass the microphone, please get ready. So actually your team have used less than two minutes or three minutes done the sharing. Thank you, Fiora. And I'm the secretary of the team. 
and uh, we discuss uh, our topic uh, in this class, and uh, we we talk about uh, how can we use Tiger in, in the internet, and uh, uh, I. Uh, I record the result of our discussion, and I will put it into the link. Thank you, Candy. And I'm the communicator in this group. And uh, in this class, we also discuss a sub question: is what is the importance of tagging in the world? And after we discussion the question, and we will we'll put the answer into the wiki. Thank you, Rina. Uh, I'm the uh, inspector of the team. And uh, uh, so my question is uh, the definition and the difference between tagging and taxonomy. And uh, uh, I have searched uh, some information about our topic. And I will do the point point for the team. Thank you, uh, Erica. Thank you for your sharings today. Now we still have time for two more groups. Any any other group who would like to go? Uh, tai Zai? Yes. Thank you, Edison. It's to Rita, okay. Um, um, I'm the secretary of the group, so I gather the information that they have found and I transfer it into um, the PowerPoint. So when I give Rita, I also do my role. That I also uh, make a PowerPoint together with them. So if they have some questions or which we don't know, we also can uh, analyze together and find a solution. And then uh, we also find information for the uh, third questions. There's some questions that, uh, that in related to our topic. Okay. Now, be sure the next Monday is the day to submit the item. It's also the time when the whole team is going to present the topic. Okay? Thank you. So, any other team? Your last team? Thank you. Thank you.
create a video file more information about the topic and we enhance the quality of this if I can. Okay, we thank you for all the seven team who have done a good job today to have all the courage summoned to do this in class uh, sharings of five minutes. Now, allow me to remind you, yes, because next Monday is the due day for this living contract number three. So when it's time come next Monday, when your team comes up here to do the presentation of sharing, it's considered as an important part of your work, okay? You're going to tell your class what your topic is, what the three questions to investigate your topics are, a brief introductions of the OIA set of each question, and then a brief introductions of the discussions result in your team on that topic. And you must send our message. What have you learned from this topic? Okay? So it's considered as an important um, presentations of the learning contract number three, because it's the last day, the day when you have to subdue the artifact, you should get ready that simple PowerPoint presentations. So consider that it's an important part of your learning contract number three. You must use this team collaborative report PowerPoint to do this in class sharing. And of course, instead of five minutes, you can have up to 10 minutes per team. All right, when you do the sharing next Monday. All right, from five to 10 minutes. Yes, for this. Next Monday, when you come up to do the sharing, it's based on this PowerPoint you have done, and you have to talk five to 10 minutes, not more than 10 minutes to do your team-based presentations, okay? Because it's the final day of learning contract number three, where you have to submit those artifacts for the end of next Monday. Of course, you still have to next Tuesday to press the button of submit for marking. Okay? Did you experience that? Or have you experienced that? You can submit your homework, but not pressing the button called submit for marking. Okay? If you do not press the button called submit for marking, you still can change what you submit. Alright? But if you press the button for submit for marking, you cannot change anymore. Alright? So that's what I would like to make sure you understand the differences. Alright, I think you you start to get used to this format in class sharing and in class group work as well as the reporting sequence of how to do the briefing at the very beginning. Get involved in group work, make sure it covers what you're supposed to cover during the class work, and then come up here and share what you have accomplished during the class work. And definitely, because next Monday is the last day of this learning contract number three, when you do the e-class sharing again, you are actually summarizing what you have done through all the learning contract of a free period using the PowerPoint that you're supposed to submit on that day on the specific team topic. Okay, so it's very important that you understand that. So before I go to each table to answer your questions again, allow me to say that that's it for today's class, CRSG 114, section one on day number 22, week number 11.